team. Welcome to my day in the life. It is like 9, 9 a.m. now. I already went on my walk. I'm gonna get some coffee and we're gonna get straight into the day. I have four meetings. I'm gonna break down the purpose of the meeting, goals of the meeting, and how to make the most of meetings, especially working from home, and how all of this fits into my larger goals as a data scientist. I'm probably also gonna give you a mini tour of my house at some point because I haven't done that yet. I had like an unfinished condo tour when I bought the place, but now it's like kind of finished. Also, wink, wink, Lollapalooza starts today. I mean, are we going? Yes. So you'll see that too. So I was wrong. Apparently I have five meetings today and a lot of them are with stakeholders. I'm the only data scientist on the strategic partnerships side of the team. So we really build roadmaps and own a lot of this. Like I don't just like do what everyone tells me to do. I kind of have to guide in what I'm doing and let people know. So there's a lot of stakeholder conversations with people who are way more high up than me. So lots of planning goes on in the morning and Mango loves attention. While I show you clips of me working, let me introduce myself. I'm Priya, a data scientist that works at Drizzly, which is a startup under Uber. I'm one of five data scientists at the startup and I'm the only one that works with client facing data. Okay, so meetings number one and two are in the books. Let's go through my first meeting. It's sometimes very easy to get siloed, just like programming things and like reading research papers and just like doing the math and to like trying to figure out like, you know, probabilities of conversions. Like if someone opens the app, has like a user journey, clicks several things, like are they gonna convert? And like, these are projects that could take weeks, if not months. And sometimes I don't get to meet my stakeholders, like other people in the strategic partnership side of the company. So I make sure I have weekly one-on-ones with different partners within the same space I'm working in just so so I keep them informed and they also let me know what's needed. First meeting was a stakeholder meeting with the insights side of my company. The goal of this meeting is really to inform stakeholders on what's going on, gain insight into what's needed in the organization internally and externally. Our clients are like Tito's, ABI who owns like Bud Light and Coors and stuff. So we have large clients that want data from us and want insight, but we also need to know internally how they're performing so we can give them recommendations. I also want to use this meeting to give more insight into the inner workings of data science because it's not really known. Like data science is very nebulous, black boxy. I don't want it to be. I want to create a very strong foundation for this company as their first like data scientist on this side. We have like five data scientists total that are on different parts of the ops, search like engineering orgs. So I just want to build a really strong foundation from the ground up so that when we do hire for more people, they have something to start with. Second meeting is Scrum. Everyone knows what Scrum is, right? It's your daily standup. And the goal of this is really just to remove blockers. So it's like two minutes, each person use it to remove blockers. Fun day. Let me show you Mango. She's always here. She's always here. And yeah, let's get on with our day. I'm gonna take a quick second to just address why I have so many stakeholder meetings. Keeping stakeholders informed is so important to ensure that there's clarity on the output of your models and that at the end of the day, you're actually answering business questions and providing value with your data models. You wanna make sure that your models are actually helping the company internally or helping your clients. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I feel like I'm just like a 12 year old who wears pajamas all day and someone is just for some reason paying me. But I mean, am I gonna complain? No, I deserve the money. Okay, before someone comes at me for saying that, I actually work very hard and I know things, I know math, I promise. <laughs> It's almost 2 p.m. The only thing I ate today was that smoothie and it was green, so I don't know how good it was. I'm gonna cook something. We have our company sink coming up and the company sink is basically like an hour of leadership telling us about like different leadership things. 
and we learn about the company in general, which is amazing. Gives me a chance to be camera off and actually eat. So let's get to it. I'm gonna make something random. Before I cook though, I'm gonna give everyone a tour of my house. I bought this in November 30th and I have five minutes before the sink starts and I'm gonna start cooking then. So let's, let's walk around the house. You come in, this is what it looks like. I got really cute physics posters over here. I have a little typewriter I bought and like my books, a random world library set. This is what it looks like when you walk in. I have two couches, a blanket. I work over there, that's my workstation. This is the mirror you see me in all the time. Large mirror, pretty big kitchen. Absolutely love my kitchen. It's the center of the house. I think it's really cute. And I have no view at all, no view. Now let's walk around. I have another corridor to get to the room. Lots of like storage space. Everything's like built in. It's really nice. I have my room over here. My cat, Mango. Mango say hi. Mango say hi to everybody. This is what my room looks like. It's cute. That's what we got for the mini tour. Let's go cook something. 24 year old can't cook. It's not that I can't cook, it's that I'm lazy. I don't wanna cook. I'm gonna use this random assortment of things to cook something. So yeah, let's do it. It's done. I made some turkey bacon. Look at that sizzling. This is cream cheese with sun-dried tomatoes, onion and chive cream cheese. And this is just eggs and ketchup. So I had four other meetings in Scrum. I also had another stakeholder meeting. That one is actually with the highest leadership on the strategic partnership side, where I have to try to understand like the goals and priorities of where data science and a data scientist can fit in. If there's anything I can prioritize because I'm currently working on two separate projects and it's, we're in different phases. There's a lot going on, like it's a startup like or it's it's a, a quite post acquisition startup there's a lot going on so this is really just about where i fit into the business and prioritization understanding this with the leadership as well as the technical product manager the next meeting i had it was a one-on-one -on -one with another data scientist who's on another side of the company this is really a chance for us to just like geek out about data stuff but also there's a lot of cross-functional use cases within the projects i'm on i had another one-on-one -on -one for the forecasting project i'm on with two of the people that i will be working with for the project because after my work i do hand it off to an analytics engineer engineer to kind of work on the dashboards and visualizing everything that my model is outputting. Sometimes I just do that visualization work myself. Sometimes I have the luxury of being able to kind of package it and send it off. And the last meeting, which you saw me cook during kind of, is the company sync where we learn about the company direction, revenue goals, all of that. And I feel like I, I really had a lot of meetings today. Now I have to really just catch up on slacks, keep going back to like coding things out because currently I'm on one project, but I've been contact switching all day. It's been a little all over the place. I wanna just work on my one project for the next like, you know, one or two hours. Okay, so I will be doing work, but I wanted to give you a big update. I will be seeing Metallica after work. You know, I'm gonna work, do the work for the next two hours. I'm gonna clean the house. I'm gonna see Metallica. We're gonna see Metallica. Okay, okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm done being excited. They're my favorite band, if you don't know. They're my favorite band, so. One eternity later. Hello, I just wanna say Metallica Fit Chat. It was so amazing. Hope you enjoy the clips. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you guys at the next one.